Hi, I'd like to talk to you about assessment and how it can be used to improve your learning while studying for your master's degree with us. I'm Dr Phil Kelly and I'll be talking about assessment on the modules I take but this advice should also help you with the other modules you're taking on your degree. We'll look at what assessment is, assessment outcomes, how to reflect on your assessment and so that you can improve your score and do better with your assignments. Let's start with what assessment is. It can take many different forms, it might be an assessed group presentation, it might be a reflective essay, it could be a number of different things and there will be different expectations associated with each depending on what stage of your degree you are at. Assessment can be formative, which is assessment that doesn't count to your overall credits and grade but can be used to shape your learning or it may be summative, which is used to calculate your grade at the end of your degree. The important thing is, it's a means for you to demonstrate you've attained the module learning outcomes. There are different outcomes for the assessment. You can pass or fail, and if you pass you may get a merit grade if you score between 60 and 70, or a distinction grade for 70 or over. Whether you pass or fail, you can always improve your assessment, but this video will focus mainly on situations where you may fail and be referred in your assessment. Before the marks are finalised they'll be moderated by an internal examiner and then an external examiner and then they'll be presented before an assessment board. If the assessment board ratifies the marks and you've scored below 50 then you'll have to take some form of reassessment if this is the first time that you will have failed that particular assignment or assessment. If you do fail the assignment, then you will have the chance to put that right and still pass the module and progress, but you must pass all your assessments to get the credit for the module. Don't forget though that if you are referred in any assessment the maximum score you can get is 50%. If you've already passed a particular component for a module you won't have to take that again, only the components that you fail. Once you've made good any assessment and scored 50 or more then you'll be awarded the irrelevant credit. If you haven't passed then it means that you haven't met the outcomes and you didn't meet the needs for that particular assessment. So let's now take a look at how to reflect on any assessment that you may have done and determine how you can make it better. You'll need various resources to help you think about improvement the module guide and workbook, any assignments that you've submitted and the feedback that you received on those assignments, the literature that you used on that module, and you'll also need to take account of masterliness expectations, that general feel of what constitutes a master's degree and the level of work that shows you are at that level. And here's some of the attributes of expectations from the master's perspective. Have a think. Did you meet the expectations? Did you demonstrate you met the learning outcomes? Did you use the literature in the right way? What could you have done differently? Let's take a closer look. 
Have a look through the module guide and workbook. Read the assignment details specifically. Read the question again. If you don't answer the question, you won't get the marks. It's useful to mark your own work when you look at the mark scheme in the question itself and try to understand what the examiner was looking for. In many cases, at master's level, you're expected to show a great deal of wider reading. So have a look at your reference list. Did you read enough? Did you show that you'd read enough by putting appropriate citations to support the arguments you were making in your essay or on the relevant PowerPoint slides if it was an assessed presentation? In many cases, one of the differences between undergraduate and postgraduate that's a common error and reason why students fail is because they write too descriptively. You need to read about what descriptive and critical thinking, reading and writing is all about and do this by yourself at master's level. Try to understand the difference between the two, particularly if you receive feedback from your tutor that said you were writing too descriptively. We'll take a closer look at what this may mean. Okay, so how can we write more critically? It may be a good idea to look at a business skills or study skills textbook or any other literature on the matter and read about critical thinking, critical writing and critical reading for yourself to get a better understanding. In many cases, writing critically is the difference between a failed pass and a merit or distinction. It's unlikely you'll achieve a score greater than a pass if you write descriptively. Okay, so what can you do about everything now? How can you improve your score? If you're referred or deferred, then start by having another look at the module guide, particularly the assignment for the refer if it's detailed in there, or take a look on Canvas for a more up-to-date description of the refer assessment. Make sure you're fully aware of it and know what is required. Use the advice in this video, particularly in terms of writing critically and answering the question. Use the skills at JMU where there is plenty of study skills advice of how to write assignments or deliver assessed presentations. 
Use all of this to improve your score before you resubmit your assessment. In that way, hopefully this will lead to a pass. If it's a semester two module, then don't forget expectations may be higher at master's level. And also in writing the work, you do need to show independence. That means don't keep asking questions of your tutor. Try and find things out for yourself. Hopefully all of this advice will help you understand the score that you were awarded on your assessment and whether you passed or failed, how you could make it better and improve. This will be important for subsequent modules that you may be assessed on. Good luck.